Hello all, welcome to part 23 of TestNG training series. In this session, I am going to explain and practically demonstrate how to use always run attribute in TestNG. So let's get started. So what is this always run attribute? This session is a continuation of the previous session. Okay, so if you have gone through the previous session, you understood how to use depends on methods attribute. Okay, there may be multiple methods which will be depending on a method. Okay, if that particular method passes only, this dependent methods will be executed. If that particular method fails, the dependent methods which were using depends on methods attribute of that particular method which got failed will be skipped from execution. I'll show you this first. Later, I'll show you how to use always run. Okay. For example, here, guys, this is a same example I have taken in the previous session. Okay. We have three tests here. Test one, user login test. Okay. So this is a user login test. And uh, there is another test which depends on user login test. That means if this test passes only, then only this particular test will be executed. Right. And also there is one more test which depends not only on the user login, but also this particular second test also that is add product to wish list. Uh, okay. And view wish list. Okay. This, uh, this particular test is dependent on two tests. That means if this particular test passes, this particular test will run. And if this both test methods passes, then only this particular test will be executed. Okay. I'll show you why. I'll show you guys. Okay. I'll click on run all. If the first test passes, first user login will run. If the user login passes, then remaining two tests will run without any problems. This I have already demonstrated in the previous session, guys. You see, the first test is uh, passed, so the remaining two tests also got executed. And if you go and uh, see the results here and come back here, you see all the three tests got passed. First user login is the test which should pass, then the dependent test got executed and this two got passed. So the dependent test on this two tests also got executed and passed. Okay. This is what is the scenario. Now, what if I intentionally fail this? I'll just add ABC here. I'll get no such element exception in the 30th line and this particular test will fail. When this particular test fails, the remaining two dependent tests will be skipped from execution. They will not be executed guys. Okay. They will not be executed. They will be skipped from execution because uh, main test which this particular test are dependent on is failing hence they will not be executed and they will be skipped just see here this also i have demonstrated in the previous uh, session if you have gone through the previous session you have known this particular thing okay let's run this okay, the first test the first test will fail guys the first test will fail you see it is not logged in and the dependent test will be skipped okay nothing is going on okay it got failed and nothing is going on if you can see here the first test main test got failed and remaining two tests got skipped guys. Uh, and here if you come here and see the results in test and the results user login got failed hence the remaining two tests got skipped skip skip. Okay, skipped is equal to two. Fine. What if there is a situation where even though this particular test either passes or fails, I want to run the dependent tests. Okay, even though the tests are dependent on this test and even though this particular test fails also I want to run in such situations. We have to use in such situations we have to use always run attribute okay i'm going to practically demonstrate is always run attribute dependent test won't skip this time because you are explicitly stating to run even though the dependent uh, the test that is this particular tests are dependent on is still failing also we'll be running the executing the dependent test okay if your requirement is such where even though the main test on which this dependent tests are main test is failing on with this dependent tests are dependent on still if you want to run the dependent test even after this main test fails okay then you have to use always run is equal to true that means no matter what whether this test will fail or not even though this particular test is dependent on this main test still it will run guys okay it will not get skipped it will be executed if it has to fail it will fail okay so you are expi explicitly or forcibly okay mentioning them as true okay always run as true though these tests are dependent on this main test if the main test passes there is no problem guys if the main test fails still they will be 
running instead of getting skipped okay so if you have such kind of real time requirement you can use always run guys so it's not generally used but if you are in a kind of situation where even though the dependent test fails still if you want to run the tests which are dependent on the main test okay always run is equal to true should be provided as an attribute okay this is still they are running okay three tests are running but they will be failing guys anyhow you see user login got failed and this time they got even though they are dependent on the main test they are not skipped rather they are run because we are using always run is equal to true attribute so this is what is always run attribute nothing much guys okay so hope guys you understood how to use always run attribute in test ng so that's all for this session in the next session i'm going to cover another test ng topic for you till then see you bye bye